From the newsroom at news.com.au. G'day, I'm Andrew Bucklow and this is the latest from the newsroom. It's Friday the 22nd of January. A report that controversial tennis legend Margaret Court will be recognised with the nation's highest honour on Australia Day has sparked a furious backlash. Now, Miss Court, who has become a divisive figure for her outspoken views on homosexuality, conversion therapy, same-sex marriage and transgender people, is reportedly set to be appointed a companion in the General Division of the Order of Australia. Victorian Premier Daniel Andrews is one of those outraged by the decision. Here's what he had to say. Again, I'm like, quite sick of talking about that person every summer. We finish up having this discussion in one form or another every single summer. But I don't give out those gongs. That's not a matter for me. That's for others. You might want to speak to them about why they think those views, which are disgraceful, hurtful and cost lives, should be on it. In tech news now, and Google has threatened to make Google search unavailable in Australia. The tech giant says it will have no choice but to do so if the Australian government succeeds in implementing its new media code. The code would force tech companies to pay for Australian news content. Overseas now, and President Joe Biden has removed a red button that Donald Trump had installed on his desk. Now get this, the red button was put there by Trump for one reason only, to let his butlers know when he wanted a can of Diet Coke. Seriously. White House advisers told the New York Times that Mr Trump would drink upwards of a dozen Diet Cokes every single day. To sport now, and there are rumours the Tokyo Olympics are going to be cancelled. A report in the Times claims Japan has given up on any hope of hosting the Games this year and will now look for hosting rights to the 2032 Games. The report, citing a senior government official, revealed the pandemic made it impossible for the world's biggest sporting event to go ahead for the foreseeable future. But the Australian Olympic Committee has shot down the report, insisting it's nothing more than a rumour. To entertainment now, and there was an awkward exchange on Studio 10 when newsreader Natasha Exelby told Sarah Harris she didn't like her outfit. Harris was wearing a pink puffy sleeve princess style gown, but Exelby wasn't a fan and told Harris as much live on air. Have a listen. Do you know what, Sarah? We've been friends for a long time, so yeah. I'm, uh, and you are a very attractive woman, and I like many things you wear. You Today I don't like that dress. <laughs> Sorry, you don't like it? I don't like it. Oh, okay. I like you. Okay. I like you. No, but this is... I res- No, like, other people would like it. And some people might think that I look like a jockey in this top. <laughs> you know, so... <laughs> trying something different, Dash. Oh, awkward. And do you want the chance to win $1,000 each week? All you got to do is play the daily quiz at news.com.au forward slash quiz and the cash could be yours. That's it from the newsroom. I'll be back with another update over the weekend. Your headlines from news.com.au. 